Hi, welcome to the second part of the armored um, bike gas tank. Today I'm doing the steampunk pinup. Um, I prepared the the white already, and now I'm adding some cracks or rips into the iron background. Uh, for that, I used the new park white first. I go really near to the surface. And now I follow with the black airbrush so that you get a dark crack and uh, the white outline where the light source will show. So now I'm starting with the, the pinup. Um, first stencil, opaque black. Um, use this with a full black. Uh, on surfaces that are not flat, like a piece of paper or something like this, uh, it's some time you have to readjust the stencil so that they fit. So the, the gun and the face are okay, but at the bottom there, there were some uh, it gets smaller because of the, the surface, so I have to readjust the stencil there. But as long as the gun and the face fit, it doesn't matter how the, the leather coat looks like. So this is the second stencil where I'm using uh, dark grey. Um, that's just the black with a uh, lasso packacy. And as you can see, there's I use different opacities there for uh, the leather coat and the gun. It's darker than the skin tones and the hair. So, uh, I prefer not to spray everything in the same opacity. So this is the uh, third black, and this time it's a light grey. And I'm using for the gas mask a little bit of light blue. Uh, the uh, and the purple. The light blue is a, is a standard cyan. And also for the skin tones it's it's good to use the, the purple and the light brown combination. Uh, the light brown I mix in myself 90% yellow and 10% uh, purple. And uh, we're doing red brown hair so I'm also using there the purple and a red and the light brown. So as you can see if the light brown gets in contact with the purple it transfers itself to a darker brown. And the same for the skin tones. I'm just using the, the light brown there. And we have a perfect result for skin tone. Uh, always remember not to, to go too dark uh, with the skin tones. And uh, when the first work on that, you always can get a darker, but it's very, very hard to make stuff uh, lighter again. So now um, I use two times white.
So this is the uh, full white stencil, which I cut into the cover-up stencil as always. Um, the advantage of this is that you get the perfect fit because if you follow the outlines, uh, you can't do anything wrong. The only thing that you have to remember is that if you, if on not flat surfaces you have a readjust the stencil two or three times, then you have to do this with this stencil two. And um, I've done this at the bottom. So that's what I have to do. So that's the um, final stencil. It is again white, but uh, with less opacity, so that you get a, a light white gray. And this is for all the other highlights that are not in a full white in this picture. And um, finally I'm doing some smoke out of the gun barrel. And um, that's about it, so... I yeah, hope you enjoyed it and um, as always if you like this kind of videos you can subscribe my channel and uh, yeah, bye.